YouTube guidelines state that you aren't allowed to swear in the first seven seconds of a video or you risk being demonetized. Well, now those seven seconds are up and I'm afraid to say Redfall is utter bollocks. And worse still, at $70, Bethesda is laughing at you. And it's a shame, really, because Redfall has a half-decent premise, a town being cut off from the outside world overrun with bloody vampires. It's also got some decent graphics and some solid sound. So why is Shipfall, as it will now be known, so shit? Well, grab yourself a cuppa and let's have a chat. Now, Reggie won't deny the concept as potential. As mentioned, you have vampires on the prowl, a remote town cut off from the world, and mercenaries are out to get you. It's got a recipe here for some proper drama with monsters and humanoids to contend with. And yes, you've got your usual skill trees and looter shooter scenario going on here, where you go on the hunt for bigger and better guns. Plus, it's an online co-op where you could team up with three of your mates but no randos, mind you, to take on the vamps. And I've got to say, the first few minutes of the game were not too bad. The graphics were more than passable, the story was set up nicely, and I was feeling pretty good with myself, wondering what the f*** everyone was moaning about. But it didn't take long for the whole thing to unravel like the dodgy bank raid of 93 where Johnny Two Shoes left his drill at home. We try not to talk about that anymore, people. The biggest problem with this game, hands down, is the useless enemy AI. I mean, these vampires are so bad, you'll want to cough up your own blood to make them come to life. When shooting at them, they just stare at you as if you've eaten garlic pizza. Sometimes they'll just wander past you, refusing to acknowledge that you even exist. Other times they get stuck behind a bloody wall. I've seen snails with hangovers with more life and energy than these twats. In a gun battle, they're so dumb they just run straight into your line of fire. And mates, that's not even the worst part. The lack of challenge means there's no atmosphere. You're not scared of these bloodsuckers. You're not worried about their menace, even with the limited abilities that they do have. And that just ruins the whole shebang from your own special abilities like the recon bird or the headshot hack. It's all just a breeze. And I've had more difficult shits than what is being offered here. And the environment's useless too. You won't be using it for cover. You won't be using it to gain a vantage point. Like the vampires that roam around, everything in shitfall is soulless. Next, we can talk about the graphics, or should I say, the lack thereof. The environment around you feels stiff and rigid like a Mal porn star in rigor mortis mid-shoot. Basketballs do not burst when fired upon. When shooting through glass on a car, it will suddenly explode, and wood is all but indestructible. Now, Reggie isn't expecting destruction at every corner, but the lack of love placed in the environment around you makes you feel as much of a passenger here than inside a world you truly want to explore. And it's a shame because opportunities are missed. Take this example here where Reggie uses his recon bird to see the enemy. I'm right underneath the little shit. How pucker would it be if this ability had more use where I could take down the bad guy from below by shooting into his anus where material physics come into play. Completing quests going from point A to point B is the core here and rather than make you the lonesome warrior who hides in the shadows you feel like a policeman patrolling the streets and ridding the world of its bad AI. Now the art style reminds me of Dishonored and Sea of Thieves. It has a cartoony s vibe to it and that works well indeed but on the flip side this should not be a tricky game to run. So why is it then Reggie's RTX 4080 struggles with massive frame drops and stutters like a broken record? There are graphical glitches galore such as seen on the ground here. The pop-up comes in at a medium range. The lighting, it looks flat. It looks baked in and vampires become indestructible for no bloody apparent reason. At one point whilst logging in, I had to totally restart my PC as it locks everything up. At every single stage of shitfall, you are reminded of how poorly optimised this bug-ridden game is. It's remarkable then that the developers, Arkane Austin, even bothered employing a Q&A team if this is the state that they're happy for it to be released in. As for sound, things do improve here. The musical score is appropriate in both tone and style. It definitely had that Dracula noir feel to it, with the subtle hum of string instruments in the background adding a nice little touch, fading both in and out as you patrol the streets. And when it comes to ambient sounds, it's decent enough, but nothing to write home about. But this is expected as a minimum, surely, from a AAA title. Voice acting is subpar and leaves a lot to be desired. And if it's trying to reflect that of a B-movie, it fouls miserably as it's simply not bombastic enough. 
there really isn't much to like about Shitfall, and that's a crying shame because, for all intents and purposes, everything is there for this to be a cracking romp of a shooter with you and your mates. But for every step forward the game makes, it takes five steps back. What you are left with then is a hollow, bland experience with terrible glitches, poor optimization, frustrating AI, and a story that is both forgettable and boring. If you can't tell, we aren't a big fan of Shitfall, and that explains the video length today because you all deserve better than this tripe. If there is one positive to come from it then, is that yet yeah, it's another reason as to why indie games deserve your hard-earned cash. And with that, love to you all, Reggie out.